Hey everybody, this is Sully and I have been doing this for the past weekend and I had an error message. Every time it would go down, the door would go down, my light would flicker 10 times. You get sensor momentarily obstructed, error code four to six, or you get sensor not installed correctly. And that's after working on it all day long and having it work at night. So I was like, what the heck's going on? So you're wondering, why would it not work today? And you wonder and wonder, and then you, you trace your wiring back and you actually rerun your wires, you retwist your wires, you plug them back in and you, you're trying, you, you check them all, the wires have continuity, all the wires are great. And then you realize that your sender is the amber light your receiver is green and your house faces east. Sunlight will blind your sensors. So today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple either cardboard or I actually use the Samsung Note 9 box to make the sensor sunshaded. And that saved me from having to go on Amazon and order a $12 piece of rubberized cardboard I don't understand that may or may not work because that sunshade was too short. Um, so mine's longer and it works exceptionally well in all forms of daylight. So now I have a working garage door opener and we're going to get started. And the shade sensor is basically a piece of cardboard that is cut. Ah, holy cow. Like this. So I have the screw hole, I have a window so I can see my LED through it because there's an LED, it has to be showing. Um, a window so you can see that. There's a cutout that goes around this bracket so it just fits in and that's how I started it actually was cutting it to fit in here and then wrapping around and basically cutting out the bracket area and then cutting another on top so it just fits around and loops. And then I thought there's an easier way and that I have a box for my phone that's already black. Save yourself $12 on Amazon or $15 for something that may or may not work. Get a five inch piece of cardboard, cut a window out, wrap it around. It's actually very easy to do. All you have to do is tighten it down. And the sad thing, so the instructions for the official kit are so bad that there's a video out that people are praising it for how to do this because it is so bad. Um, and once you get it lined up, oh, you gotta make sure your leg's not in the way. And there you go, see? So you can see your light. I have a shade. The original kit only comes out to here, so it provides a little bit of shade, but I put deep and that is how I made it. Second part, which is an easier way of making one, which is to take a box, um, small black box. All I'm going to do is mark out my bracket area. Since this box is better, uh, this box will not deteriorate since it's kind of a plasticized uh, it's not quite cardboard, it's not quite plastic, but anyway, I have marked out a couple of inches. For that, I'm just going to slide this over and then bolt this down. So this is my Samsung Galaxy Note 9 box that we're going to cut out. There we go. All right, so I used a backer plate. I used a backer plate to actually slice my thing. All right, so once you get that, so you have a hole cut out, the hole slips over the bracket. Uh, I might want it to go farther back. I actually do want it to go farther back since my door doesn't line up correctly with it. So I want it to go a little bit deeper than that. It's about two inches. I might go two and a half. All 
All right. So now that goes back. See, that gives a lot of shade. I'm going to call it my Samsung. This is my Samsung uh, Galaxy Note 9 box shade. And it happens to be just the right size. So now, got to drill holes in the front. So you can literally just drill a hole through the box. I made two, one for the hole and one for the bracket. One for the hole, one for the bracket. And uh, I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut out a little window here. So it's just going to be a little window cut out. And it's 92 degrees, so that is human sweat. I also learned that a standard 2x4 is perfectly sized for doing a backing plate. So learn by doing. Just going to cut out a window here. So now I have a window cut out. Um, it's not the neatest, but I just need to be able to see my LED. And we're going to fit this on here. See, I work in fitness. Fitness pizza in my mouth. Put this through. We're going to push this through. Sweet. We have a window to the sole. We have a box that lines up with the edge. So now, literally is a matter of tightening it down. That's it. So save yourself $12. That is my, that's my Samsung shade for bright sun defaulting on my sensor causing false problems. So now, big test. Way louder than I remember. But that works. And sensor is fine. So that's my Samsung shade going all the way across to provide shade from the mighty sun. And there we are. Simple stuff. Save yourself 12 bucks, save yourself the delivery time. This is Sully and I am out.